Hi, this is Andy T, host of Andy's Awesome Adventures, and welcome to Jaipur, India. The Hawa Mahal, known as the Palace of Winds or the Palace of Breeze, is a red and pink sandstone palace in Jaipur, the pink city. The palace sits on the edge of the city palace and extends to the zanana or women's chambers. Many people see the Hawa Mahal from the street and think it's the front of the city palace, but in reality, it's the back of the palace. The palace is devoted to Krishna and thus in the shape of Lord Krishna's crown. It is one of my favorite buildings in India. The structure was built in 1799 by Maharaja Sawi Pratap Singh. He was so inspired by the unique structure of the Khetri Mahal, which is located 110 miles from Jaipur, that he built this grand palace. It was designed by Lal Chan Ustad. Its unique five-story exterior is similar to the honeycomb of a beehive, with its 953 small windows called jirokas, which are decorated with intricate latticework. The original intent of the lattice design was to allow royal ladies to observe everyday life and festivals celebrating the street below without being seen, since they had to obey the strict rules of purda, which forbade them from appearing in public without face coverings. This architectural feature also allowed cool air to pass through, thus making the whole area more pleasant during the hot summers. What makes the Hawa Mahal an architectural masterpiece is that it was built without a foundation, in fact, it is the tallest building in the world without a foundation. The building manages to stay upright because of its curved shape. Mubarak Mahal. Gate. He was born, his father made this gate and he also put two statues of single piece of marble. It's a single piece of marble. Beautiful. This is one of two of the largest silver, not vases. You say they were kettles? No. Damn, I forgot what the guy told me. But they are the largest in the world of their kind. And the other one's right here. Silver jars, they'll call them a jar, okay. Now here it says the largest silver objects in the world. Each drawer was made, was made out of 14,000 Jaipur coins, silver coins, wow. This thing's worth a lot of dough. Look at the architecture here, nice. Beautiful. And here in the city palace, you get to see a little bit more of why Jaipur is called the pink city. This is the discotheque of the town. <laughs> so what is the name of this? Of this this area is called Pritam Nivas. Pritam? Pritam Nivas. Nivas. Yeah. Okay. 
And this is the palace. Yeah, this is part of the palace, the discotheque of the time. The discotheque, yeah. yeah four gates, beautiful. Is that made out of gold? No, bronze. Bronze. Beautiful. And if you want to hire, you want to get married here, pay $20,000 for the venue. $20,000? And second, that's under two parts, party, party. Both venue available for $20,000, one night. One night, so 20000 times two or just one, 20000 One, one. So 20000 to have the wedding here, yeah. in this courtyard? In this and the outer And the other one. one I think it's worth it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's something you won't forget. Exactly. If you want to get married, $20,000 is not much. Paris, I mean a palace is something big thing. I mean, it's just beautiful. So yeah. at least 10 to 15 weddings every year. Every year. So there. That's some good income for the palace. So, These are the different rough stones. Some stones mined in India, some other parts of the world. These are just roughs. What we get as a rough form of the ruby. This is blue sapphire. That is just a rough. And this is precious emerald. Emerald. Yeah. yeah. That's from Australia, the Opa. Opal. Opal, yes, Australia. Yeah. You're from? Uh, United States. United States, yeah. The last moonstone. We did it as a moonstone. That this one is an amethyst. And that's an aquamarine. Aquamarine, yes. Yes. Lapis. Lapis. Lapis, yes. So this is a red gown. So this is a place in the wax, first we stick the stone, then we cut them in different shapes, different sizes. Then what he is doing is giving facets to the stone. So the more shine, more luster come in the stone. So the earlier when they starting doing that, they were doing by hands. As you can take a picture of that. Accordingly, we give these guys to cut and polish them. Here is the designers who design the jewels. Ah, okay. Yeah, and they take this combination of the stones and the designs goes inside to these members who design the jewels. And it works. This is a designer who to design that and he's the person who designed mm -hmm. these ones. These are a different set of emerald, ruby, sapphires, all the precious stones. So every person got different style of work. Some big rings, some pendants, some big necklaces, all being right. designed in manufacture. Okay. Then we polish them. When it is fully finished, then we polish these ones. Yeah. And then we go inside what this gentleman put an hallmark certified to. Uh, that it's real. Yes, yeah, it's authentic. authentic. You get a certificate along whatever you buy. I'm guessing this is the finished product. That's the finished product. That's the finished floor. You're not going to try to sell me any gems, are you? Gems, are you? <laughs> Let's take a look. All the gems. Ah, okay. Oh, they're all labeled? Okay. Garnet, yep, garnet. Sapphire. 
What, what's the most um, expensive one here? See, what the most is depends on you know what you like. Mm. It's like ruby is sometimes very expensive. Emerald is very good. Mm. Then that's the only stone that is only mined in India. This. Which one? We don't export that stone. The star ruby. Star. That's the only one that's mined in India. Yes. Okay. Each stone forms a star. You can see in that. This is a rough. As you can see, the star in there, I think. Yes. That's the stone. Star ruby. Belonging to the same ruby family, but its natural spine is there, and that it forms a star in that. Hmm. That's the stone only mined in India. And this could be a good remembrance, from, especially from India. For a small fee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in this also, we have small pendants, rings here. Sure. What do you like? Oh, now it's time for me to buy something? It's it's, 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 we'll see what, we'll see what you got. Hi, this is Andy Teach, host of Andy's Awesome Adventures, and welcome to Jaipur, India. How much do I tip these guys? 100 rupees? Okay, I'll get more than that. riding, I'll see you up there. Okay. All right, we are on the elephant. Good morning. Good morning. This is my seatbelt. All right, this is kind of a once in a lifetime thing. The only time in my life I've been on an elephant ride is here, Amir Fort, Amir Palace in Jaipur, India. I believe there's a hundred elephants that work here. Whoa, what was that? Ugh. I think I just got some spray, uh, spray in my mouth. Oh, that can't be good. And that is the elephant in back of me. So it's kind of, it is kind of a, st a steep hill. Uh-oh. <laughs> nice elephant, good elephant. Calm elephant. Beautiful, the way they, they paint the elephants here. Oh, my neck. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I think I have a runaway elephant. I do not want to die in Jaipur on an elephant. Just get us to the top. Uh-oh. We got some uh, elephant traffic here. Let us in, please. Ooh, ooh. Uh, all right, I think we made it. Oh. Holy crap, oh. Beautiful complex, yeah. So Jaipur is about 300 years old, and in 1857, I think it was, they painted the city pink in honor of, was it the Prince of Wales? So for about half the 200 years, it's been the pink city. Now you can't tell from here, but other parts of it, it is pink. Ooh. <laughs> Good. Good. I'm still alive, so I'm happy. Uh. 
We have arrived at Amir Palace. So right here we can see Mr. Andrew is uh, uh, riding on elephant and Yep, I was here 20 years ago. Yep. But this time I am filming. Yeah, if you finish. Finish. Yes. Huh? Alright, there goes Sonia, my elephant. Goodbye, Sonia. Thank you for bringing me up to the top of the palace. We're going to start with the main courtyard that we came into with the elephants. What a great view from up here. And then this is the hall where justice was served.
So this is the area of the ladies' apartments, built 1592. This is among the oldest sections in the palace. So this is a better look at the ladies' apartments, other than, otherwise known as concubines. And this is where they would gather and gossip. Carpet demonstration, Jaipur Mahal. And this hand block printing we are doing with the help of these blocks. And these blocks are made of wood, the teak wood, which is very hard, so it will long last. First of all, we have to get the photo of the design, what sort of design, and then give that photo to the carver, and he do the carving on the wood. It will be something like this, a design. And then we do on cotton, chiffon, silk, even on pashmina wool, we can do something like this. And the colors, what we are using is 100% vegetable, natural colors we are using. Let me show you a small demo so you can understand much better how we do it. For example, on this one, we are making an elephant design with the four different blocks. That means four different colors we will use. This is the first one and this is the main block the outline for the elephant now this is the first block which will be just the outlines for the elephant we have to put it in the middle here and then bang it with this palm like this and you will see the outlines here you will see and then the second one when we are going to use the second one the second one we need to match the points there are some certain points for example this is the point which we have to match it here and this is the point which we have to match it here and how we do it now let me show you now this is the point here match it here and here and then bang it and you will see the second color like this and then the third color with the third block here the match matching point are the foot so we have to match the foot now see like this and here and you will see the third color will be something like this and this is the last one and it will complete the elephant this is the fourth color and we have to match the trunk here and the tail and you will see the complete elephant like this and once it's been done then we need to put it on the sunlight why because these are the natural colors so the sun will oxidize these colors and these colors will be changed and it will take 24 hours to change the colors and you don't have that much of time so for you people i will show you chemically how we change the colors so before when it will oxidize and when after oxidize how it looks like now let me show you after doing the oxidization it will be something like this this is a totally different color 
and then we wash it with the salt and the water. The salt will fix the colors. So afterwards you can wash it in a washing machine with the hot water, with the cold water, the color won't run. It will stay like this. This is how we do the hand block printing. And besides this, we do hand knotted carpets. This is the rough wool. So what we have to do, we have to give this rough wool to the lady. She has to put this rough wool on these ones and make the plies. One, two, three, and four ply in one thread and make the ball something like this and give all the material to the weaver. So he can start on the working on the carpet. But how he make the carpet, let me show you. This whole thing, we call it loom. This is the cotton backing of the carpet, on which the notching we can do with the wool or with the silk. And how we make the knots, we take this one thread from the front, one from the back, make a knot like English eight, pull it down and cut it with a knife. Up in Kovahale Jomara. See? And cut. So each and every knot of the carpet we do one by one. And it's millions and billions of knots in carpet. And when we complete the row of knots from this end to this end, then we pass a cotton thread between these two strings so the knots won't come up and then beat it with the beater. So the, so the carpet get tighter and we can put more and more number of points. This size carpet, four feet by six feet, it will take five and a half months to make the carpet. And once we will complete the carpet, then we give more finishing touch to the carpet. And how we do that, I will show you, come here. This is having some fluff on the carpet. So we don't need this extra fluff. So what we do, we burn the carpet from the back side of the carpet. How we burn it, Jala? Huh? Jala. See, we have to burn the extra fluff with the help of this blue lamp. Once it's been done, then we do have the hard brush here. See, like this. Mm -hmm. See, and it's gone. Then we have to wash it with ordinary detergent soap and plain cold water. We do have to wash it. And then we have to shave it. We share the pile of the carpet. First, we have to comb it like this. Take out all the rough wool from the carpet. And then we share the pile of the carpet with the help of this scissor. The order is Now see, the design is coming clear. This is the most important section for us because in this section we are giving finishing touch to the carpet. Because? And these scissors, these are the special kind of scissors. We have given an angle to this scissor so it keeps the level of the carpet. It won't damage the level of the carpet also. And how it looks like when it will be ready. Now let me show you my ready product, the finishing product. This is local wool from Rajasthan. This is the bottom quality of wool what we make here. This is having less number of knots. This is having 144 knots in one square inch, which is minimum. And that thing, you can see it from the back side. Not good quality. This is Kashmir wool. This is Kashmir wool, mm -hmm. which is the best in the world. Now, see here, this is the camel wool, which is the special quality of wool. Now, look at this. This is the special quality of wool. This is the camel, which is the best in the world. Picha se dikha isko. And see it from, see, is it ko Now see the quality from the backside. Much, much clear. That means the quality of this carpet is much, much better. Rakh de niche. Then we make them in different, different size. 
This is four feet by six feet. This is three by five. This is one more three by five. This is camel wool three feet by five feet. Look at it. This is camel wool. Blood eye. Now this is two and a half feet by four feet, small size. This is one more design, special design from India, Rajasthan. This design, and this is the smallest. This is two feet by three feet. Look at this. Now we pack it very small so people can carry it very easily. Even smaller than this, we can pack it so people can carry it very easily. And you will see the weight. This is just 800 grams. And you can just check the weight. Okay, this is the textile room, very colorful. Here's a good overview. And how do you pronounce the observatory? It's Jantamantar. Jantamantar. Okay. Jantamantar Observatory. And that works with an accuracy of two seconds. This is the biggest sundown on Earth. Exactly. Wow. Uh, Within two seconds, that's pretty accurate. It's been certified by Guinness Book for its size and accuracy. Beautiful. You see the shadow of the wall falling on the screen and it gives you the time. Okay. And in the month of July, whenever there is full moon, as closest climb up there and they put a flag and they measure the direction and the speed of the wind. So from the observatory, we can see the Hawa Mahal again, or at least the very top of it. You truly need an astronomy degree to understand some of this, though. But this is, uh, what, 300 years old almost? One, two, three, four. That means 156 is the time. Here the accuracy is 20 seconds, right? What you see here is Indian standard time. Indian standard time. So you need to add 11 minutes. So 156 plus 11 will get you how many? That is 207. 207. This is 207. Yes. It's a big sundial. Yes. Okay. It's a small sundial. I'll show you a bigger one. Yeah, okay. So here we have two surfaces. One is here, second on the other side. In the center, there's a stick. The shadow of the stick falls on the screen and it gives you the time. Six months this side works, six the other side works. Two days, they are deaf equinox. 21st March, 23rd September, when the sun is vertical, it doesn't work. Because sun is vertical, there will be no shadow. Otherwise, six months that side, that is northern hemisphere, and six months this side, that is southern Good hemisphere. hemisphere. Okay? So here we have two cavities, see? Yes. And these cavities fit in each other and make a complete bowl. You see the thicker line? Mm -hmm. This is the equator. Ah, it's the equator, okay. Okay. 23 and a half degree above, if we go, this line, this mm -hmm. is Tropic of Capricorn. Okay. And downside with equal distance of the carbon, this is Tropic of Cancer. Right? Okay. And in between there are names of other zodiacs written here on the screen that you can see further. If you see something written over here, something written over here, something written over there, then something written over there. You got my point? This one. This is over my head. It's a little complicated. I don't think the average person can figure this out. Yeah. Alright? Alright. So so the shadow of the disc falling on the screen and it gives you 
the name of the zodiac where the sun is. Is that the zodiac sign? Exactly. Okay. So today it is in Scorpio and this one can do it there. Okay. In a while the shadow will fall in the gap. In that case, that side will start working. They complement each other. Okay. Right. I need eight people on my right side. Eight people on my Then here we have a list of seven celestial bodies yeah. whose movement influence our life. That's why the city has been divided into seven major parts. One of the part includes the city palace, observatory, and one te one temple. All right, this is all. Four, seven, and this is all one seventh of the town. Okay, the city one palace. Seven. Okay. It's one seventh one seven. of the town. So we are in the city palace complex okay. for all time. Now it's separated. It's observatory. That's different. Okay, earlier it was in the same. I mean, commoners were not allowed here. Okay. So now. Well, I'm not a commoner, I'm the host of Andy's Awesome Adventures. So that puts right. me a little bit above the commoner. All right. So. <laughs> and here we have a uh, group of 12 zodiacs. What zodiac you have? I am a. Uh, well, I think I'm a Leo. Leo. Leo influenced by sun. How the sun is? You see, you see yourself saying I'm not common. <laughs> so this is the it means they show you their, their self identity. All right, and the higher perspective, no right. discrimination, generosity. They maintain their space, their dignity. They know how to live like king. Right. So there's one of these for each of the zodiac signs. Yes. I give you have the there I am. There's Leo. Leo. Yeah. What's up, Leo? All right. Right. So the every zodiac works for two hours. Which one is working is a subject of calculations. Okay. So at astrologers they do some paperwork and then they can go to particular zodiac and then they can calculate which one is working. Okay. One thing. And second, how many degrees it is powerful. You are Leo, I may be Leo, but we are not the same. Right. And that degree varies. And okay. that is called the ascendant. Like ascendant. Okay. Leo ascendant. Or Leo Zodiac, two different things. Okay. All right. Leo Ascendant means your ambience will be like king-like things. That is me. I am king-like. Yes, thank you. Right. And <laughs> ambience. I'm talking about ambience. Okay. Leo Leo Zodiac sign means you'll think like king. You you will approach to anything like a king. Okay. That sounds good to me. Yeah. They, these sort of things are good. And red color brings you good luck. Donation of chocolates, donation of sweets, right. donation of rice uh -huh. brings you good luck. Especially okay. if you do it early morning Sunday because that is the aura of sun. 